Hi guys and welcome to another video. So just a few things to discuss today including a departure of the club and then a little bit of transfer news slash rumours as well. So today it has been reported or nearly confirmed that Donald Love is going to leave the club which for some it's a sorry sight but you know for most you know joking aside it, you know it's perfectly welcomed because he's a lovely lad he is a lovely lad but he's a terrible, terrible footballer. So they have come to an agreement to uh, completely terminate his contract. He's on £450,000 a year, apparently, which is relatively high earnings for a player of, of his quality and in this league as well. So, you know, I, I'm perfectly happy to see him go. Again, like I say, lovely lad. But, you know, he's shit, <laughs> essentially. But also in some transfer rumours... Uh, George Dobson, skipper of Walsall, a player who I'm definitely a big admirer of, it is reported as well that we have had an offer rejected. Apparently, we haven't um, met the expectations or the value of the valuation of uh, the of the Walsall board. We haven't hit that valuation, so um, whether we'll go back in for him, and if it is true, of course, that remains to be seen. But if we are sort of serious about it, and it is a genuine link, I'd be happy to see George Dobson come to Sunderland because it's something we haven't got. He's a six-foot midfielder. He's a box-to-box -box midfielder, more of a defensive-minded player. And I know we do have it, we have the argument of you know we have too many central midfielders, but not quite like him. If we want to replace someone like Katz, then to get a younger version, he is tenacious in the tackle and it, and he can uh, you know his work rate is outstanding. Uh, someone like him, you know, is definitely a welcome addition. Um, but of course, I think other players will have to get off the books in terms of central midfielders if we are going to sign George Dobson. Now, onto the onto the sort of system in which we're going with now, and you know, regarding transfers, there's been a bit of complication, a bit of confusion uh, going around at the minute. I think because a few weeks ago, Stuart Donald came out and said, you know, he thinks we need between six and eight players to sort of confirm or to really steady our chances to win the league, which is obviously what we want. Charlie Methvin has already said that he wants a 100-point season. So, for me, I thought that we'd be going out, of course, we, we free transfers happen all the time anyway, um, and, and they're useful. That just because the free transfers, transfers doesn't mean that they're going to be crap players, do you know what I mean? I mean, John McLaughlin, for example, we got him on a free last year, and he was arguably our best player. Chris Maguire, he was a free transfer last year, another one of our best players last year. So, you know, I'm, I'm not complaining about free transfers, but, you know, like I say, Stuart Donald originally said that he thinks we need six to eight players. But now it seems that it's changed, that we have to sell to buy, which wasn't necessarily the case before. You know, of course, we we, we said that we preferably wanted to shift a few big earners, i.e. Catamol, uh, Donald Love is now obviously leaving as well. Um, uh, but Stuart, sorry, um, but Jack Ross has said in an interview that he's happy with the squad he's got. Which, to be fair, I, you know, I, I'm with the squad we've got now. Uh, you know, there's not many players who I would like to see leave. There's not too many. Of course, there's one or two that I think, yeah, okay, I wouldn't mind if you went. But we have quite a solid squad. It's quite uh, they've gelled last season, and I just think we need a sprinkling of extra quality. I think we need a centre back. If we're going to go for the bare minimum, we definitely need a centre back. Uh, I'd probably go, you know, for a striker and an attacking midfielder as well. If that's the bare minimum we're going to go for, I think that is the absolute bare minimum we need within the squad. Like I say, a big centre back, a more creative attacking midfielder, and another striker. That's the bare minimum, and I feel like I'm repeating myself now, but that is the bare minimum. But as I say, it seems like we're doing a one-in, one-out, or a one-out, one-in basis now. Uh, I don't know whether Donald Love would count as that, you know, because he, at least he's gone off the books. Katz has gone off the books. Um, there will be some more departures. I think Oviedo potentially would be um, one to look at. I don't want to see him go. I like Oviedo, but again, I think they are trying to balance the books a bit before they do venture more into the into the market and you know with Cat's wages gone Donald Love's wages gone and if Oviedo goes as well then you know we'll be in a very good financial position going forward and um, yeah so that's pretty much it at the minute um, it's kind of come to a standstill on the transfer front because this sort of system has been put in place you know we have to sell to buy essentially so yeah the transfer news has come to a bit of a standstill it's just the odd rumor here and there but even the rumors are drying up now and it's quite worrying considering we're sort of less than a month away from the start of the season and we've signed a backup goalkeeper and a right back you know i mean the squad we've got already as i say it's solid 
but it's only solid. It, it doesn't have the extra bit of flair, the extra bit of ability that I think we need to win this league. I don't think the squad is strong enough alone as it is. So hopefully, you know, we do see a bit of movement in the coming weeks. I'm sure we will see something. We might have a couple of shocks in terms of certain players leaving. But as I say, uh, we really, really need to get a move on in terms of transfers. And hopefully it, it does shift soon. Tonight we are playing uh, South Shields away in a friendly, um, which I might make a video on later on this evening. But I just thought I'd get this one out there quickly because... I haven't really managed to cover it or had time to cover the transfer news and stuff like that recently. So that is it, guys. That's you up to date with transfer news so far for Sunderland. If you have enjoyed, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.